Good evening, my name is Jeremy Shines, and today, this is part two of what is the difference between a normal operation or unit versus a special operation or unit in the Lord, of course. Before we get started, as usual, I have to let you know that Jesus baptized the things of this world in order to teach us about the kingdom of God in the ways that we would understand. For example, he took fishing for Peter, baptized it, and explained what the kingdom of God was like using fishing analogies and metaphors. And we're doing no different. We're going to take the military, we're going to baptize it, we're going to spiritualize it, and we're going to show what the kingdom of God is like. In this illustration or this topic, we're talking about what's the difference between a normal unit and a spec ops unit for the Lord. Without further ado, let's get started. Let's pray. Father, bless this word and speak through these lips in Jesus name. Amen. All right. So first things first, part two, the difference between a normal unit and a special operations unit for the Lord is number one, needs to be told what to do. We kind of covered that, but I want to phrase it this way. The normal unit needs to be told what to do, right? If you're operating or may I say just going to church on a regular basis, you come to church, you listen to a sermon, or you listen to the pastor, and you need someone to tell you what to do, right? There are two kinds of people in this world. There are people who initiate things, and there are people who don't initiate anything, and they need to be told what to do every step of the way. Otherwise, they won't do it, right? And so that's the difference between someone who's just going to church, someone who's just, you know, being told, hey, you need to repent, hey, you need to do this, and that's fine if that's the way they function best or that's what they des how they desire to live their Christian life. Cool. Whatever. Right. But then the, the other difference for the special operations person for the Lord that goes above and beyond that's set apart from the average Joe, if I could say, go does not need to be told what to do. They are a self starter. Like I said, there's two people in the Lord's kingdom. There's the ones that need to be told what to do. And then there's the self-starter, just like the world. There are people in the world that need to be told what to do, followers, so to speak. And there are leaders, right? And the special ops person is usually a leader, right? It usually consists of a whole unit of leaders, right? Because usually leaders want to go above and beyond. Number two, the normal unit person or personnel or persons <laughs> hate failure, right? Now, this could kind of slide into perfectionism. There's so much of a perfectionist that they won't even try. But the saying is true, they hate failing. So they either won't try. If they do try, it's got to be so perfect, right? That, you know, they almost like they become obsessed with it, whatever that is. And so they hate failure. And when they do fail, they, they just, it, it just destroys them, so to speak. I'm not going to lie. I've been there. The special ops person for the Lord does not mind or care if they fail. They fail, they dust themselves off, and they get back up and keep moving forward. Right? And don't get me wrong, in this particular quality, you can grow into. How? constantly failing <laughs> and if you think about it god is calling us to get up after we fail that's why there's grace <laughs> if no one failed they would need not need to be grace <laughs> right so there's that all right number three the normal unit person the average person who just goes to church and so forth uh, they hate learning right they hate learning or they don't really care to learn, right? They only learn if they have to, right? And that's okay. Like I said, no one's judging you. <laughs> Just showing the difference between if you want to go harder for the Lord, do more for the Lord versus just if you just want to be an average Joe, right? The spec ops person for the Lord loves learning, not just learning about the Lord, but learning about things they, they're going to come in contact with, learning about things that they might need, just learning in general. They're always looking at how to learn and how to grow, right? 
That's the difference between a normal unit person and a spec ops person, right? A normal person versus a person who goes above and beyond. All right, number four, doesn't take risks. This kind of goes back to number two, hates failure, kind of skims over lear learning because in order to learn, you got to fail, right? Number four, the normal unit person do does not take risks, right? If I bring up something biblical, Jesus is walking on the sea, all the disciples at that time, right, did not step out except Peter. Peter was the only one that stepped out of the boat, right? Probably because of a little bit of his pride, but he stepped out of the boat. Most of them did not step out of the boat, right? Jesus gives another parable about talents. Two people sowed their seeds, right? Just threw seeds on the floor. And some of those seeds grew. And this person over here did not. They buried it. They were so afraid, again, of number two, failure. They didn't even try. They didn't take risks. If you want to be special operations for the Lord, you're going to have to learn to take risks. And you're going to have to learn to fail. And that's okay. The special operation person for the Lord is not afraid of failure. Therefore, they're not afraid to take risks. Amen? And on this list, this might be a little shorter than I thought. Number five, always gives up. That's the normal operation person. See, you can grow in these attributes, by the way. None of these are like set in stone. Depends on who you are. Some might be, right? Just might be so out of your character. But in this case, I don't think so. I, I, I haven't really thought through this, to be honest. But for me, I think you can grow into it if you really desire to. Like I said, the normal unit person always gives up. This kind of, you know, ties into doesn't take risks and fear of failure, right? So that basically they follow the crowd. Whatever the crowd's doing, that's what they're doing. Whatever these people are doing, they just want to fit in, right? They just need someone to affirm them all the time, right? I need someone to affirm me. I need someone to accept me. I need someone to tell me what to do, right? And that's fine, I guess. But I think that personally, God designed us all to be specially put aside for his purposes because none of us are like one another. All of us think differently. All of us see the world differently. All of us like different things. I think we're all special, personally. But unfortunately, not many people get to actually walk in that kind of glory. Not because they can't, it's because they don't want to. They don't want to fail. They always give up. They don't like taking risks. I think everyone is special. The special operations person never gives up, right? I think God sees us like this massive tree that the potential that we can grow into, right? And be specially everyone. But unfortunately, most people will settle following people, taking orders. And some people are just designed, I think, by nature to just be a follower. I think that, I don't think certain people can change, right? But other things I think can change. What's the difference between special operations and a normal person for the Lord? I think it's just one decision away in everything they do. Amen? That's all I got for you. My name is Pastor Jeremy Shines, and this is the difference between a normal unit and special operations. Let's pray. Father, bless this word. Thank you for this word. Forgive us guide us, teach us, and help us grow into the massive special tree and to do the things that you want us to do. In Jesus' name, amen, and God bless.